with Alba fully reunited under our flag. Let's turn our gaze to building our bases with a new castle town piece here. Stronger keep there. Just spend a bunch of money there. All these are upgraded nicely. And another level of barracks here. What can we build here? Castle Town, definitely. We need all the income we can get. I don't really want content. Fine, I can work it all out myself. I don't need help. Ever. Ooh. Look at that. Turingen has broken away from Saxony. I can't really take advantage of that. Well, I guess uh, the crusade was cancelled once again due to another bout of rain. Torrential, they said this time. Oh, look at Venice. They're a Nordic tribe here. No, a Nordic feudal lord. He's not even that weak. Look at this. That's interesting. And a famous man as a rock. Wow. He's good. Yes, you're welcome at our court. Let's get you a good, strong wife from my bloodline. Sure, we can find one. Come on. There we go. He's a homosexual, but that's fine. I'm sure you guys will figure it out. Let's get the quick guys into our realm and into our bloodline. Let's check if we need to put some strong vassal on some position. Not really. Seems to be looking fine. We could consider giving away more kingdoms, but... But honestly, I'd rather check on the kingdoms that we do have and figure what vassals they might want or deserve. None, really. The titular kingdom of Burnham Susana. Nothing belongs to this. We could just revoke this little weird kingdom and... Well, we can't really, but maybe we can have a plot for it. Intrigue. Or we could t plot to kill him. What do we need to do? Nah. All right. We have a lot of knights around again. Reds. All dukes, the kings are all on our side. So nothing is going to happen to us. And again, we try for Italy, apparently. Oh, sure. Third time's the charm, eh? My daughter, Finnegan. Is, is that the daughter I'm thinking of? She's a spy mistress. Lovely. Oh, wow. 
What is going on? Oh, okay. So this time, for some reason, we're actually going against Italy and not against whatever the hell it was before. So we're not facing the whole Muslim world, but we're just facing Italy and some Rotticelli heretics. So this one is going to happen. This one is going to work. How much would we get out of this? Really still don't understand why we put, put anything in here, but I don't play around with religion. It's its own weird thing. Yes, let us find the white tag. It eludes us. Let us find Harry Potter's Patronum. Patronus. <laughs> and kill it. Now we don't want a merchant caravan. They give you a eunuch. Which you can then put into your unique... Or, well, oh no, we need to sand those down. They have been standing around way too long. Oops. Excuse moi. So I have a feeling this crusade shall not be cancelled due to rain. Looks like a crusade that actually is going to happen. I wonder why the strength is fluctuating so much. Oh well. We shall see Italy breed. Let's hope our darling daughter does eventually produce heirs, but even if not, I'm her heir. So, it's all good. It's going to stay in the family. Why is she Greek? Oh, no. He's Greek. Greek. Oh! <gasps> yes! There's a child of our dynasty. Perfect. Just born us. Someone to keep the bloodline alive. Let's see if we can find this one strong one, but she's a bit too old for him. Quick, no. Attractive, no. Mm, genius? No. So we go by age. The relative attractiveness. She's Irish. Makes her the perfect match indeed. Yeah, okay. Some courtier turned out not too great. Well done, my dear daughter. Well done. I'm so proud of you. It's the name. The Irish women called Finneacht are just that amazing and strong. Saxony really has its... Wow, Croatia. Has its fingers everywhere. No longer on the British Islands, though. The Empire of Alba shall not suffer a heretic to stand on its shores. Right, okay. Some people are getting out of hiding. Good time to strike them. Which we shall not do, but it is a good time indeed. Get four more castle walls. An epic hunt it shall be. Yes, let's find the stag. Let's upgrade our holdings left and right. Oh, training grounds, yes. Look at that. So you will be finished. When? Does this tell me when it will be finished? No, it does not. Well, we have not found the white stag. It is most certainly our own fault, which is humbling indeed. 
The game really wants us to hold a grand tournament. The Irish has never... The Empire of Alba has never seen a grand tournament. Alright. We are putting aside our rivalries. I'm fine with that. Still people are joining defensive pact against us. But that does not disallow us from joining in a, a fun crusade. They have grown quite interestingly. Is there someone... Yeah, Countess of Ligon. She, she's in my realm. And he might also be in my realm. So we will have war on our own shores. Oh, what? I sacrificed one of my oldest friends today because of my greediness. One of my friend's enemies offered me a bribe I couldn't resist. I have gained a whole one goal to betray my wife. That is the epitome of greedy indeed. That's terrible. We are a terrible old man. No doubt about that. Get that keep up. Honestly, holding many baronies and concentrating your power in a, in a few counties and duchies is the way to go. As you can see, what I raised just from my own primary holdings is insane in terms of troops power. I can outmatch most countries with this. I, I can. I can beat Italy easy just with my own troops. Which gives you... A good amount of immunity against uprisings and people trying to get on your bad side. That's quite nice. Let's hope our vassals are fighting the good fights around here. Spawning our realm. Oh! Who are you at war against? Come on. Let it be... Some... Oh. I think he's just fighting raiders. The only thing that is hostile against him. Nothing happening on the home front. Well, now something is happening at the home front. Deus Vult indeed. Alright. Okay. Let us pause real quick and get our troops on the continent up and ready. And that's really most of what we're going to contribute to this. I do not see anyone on this island being an issue. Let's raise all our levies. On the island. Not going to send our own troops. As is custom. But we're definitely going to send. All our vassal troops out here. So we do the typical thing. Board the troops. Send them here. Board. Send. Why can't I do this? Nothing to board. We send them here. Nothing to board. Send them here. Board and send. And this one ship here, which I can't really click. And here, board, send, board, send, board, send. Then board. You get the drift. Combine. Combine. 
Why can't I combine these? Oh, because I'm selecting too many. Board? No. No boarding these. Board. Board. Right, I believe that's everyone. Everyone of import, anyhow. Yeah, we don't need that fleet. They can stand down again. We'll be fine with what the British send. Yeah, got some technology points, very good. Get our troops out on those ships. Oh, we forgot someone here. These guys are walking straight onto where they're supposed to go. Let's check our army over here. They have combined. So let's group them and they will be our main force fighting on the front lines of this crusade so we shall walk them down to the coast down here make sure that there's enough fly limit and we'll meet up with our fleet and make sure that we kind of go parallel with all our troops so no one gets left behind well i think we can leave these guys here they are the lucky ones they shall not know the terror of war and once our fleet arrives down here this army will have reached and we can march two huge armies parallel into battle. Now, of course, it is possible that we are going to get someone attacking us at the home front, but that's what our troops are for. It's also very unlikely they will have a hard time as it is fighting us here. Okay, we send this army toward Rome already because our fleet is on its best way. And this is where we shall fight. This is where we shall win. If there's enough supply limit, that is. And yes, it means there is. Maybe we can seize the Fraticelli Pope. And thus... <laughs> Our plans are a little bit um, stopped dead in their tracks. We need to go find some rebels at home. Well, that's okay. Smaller army, less attrition moving. Right, our army has arrived. I'm not too sure if I want to land them here. Let us land them somewhere where it's a little bit more defensive. Terrain is more... ...in our favor. It's all plains around here. I think it's plains, 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 plains. There are some mountains. Let's get off here and move them over there. That's a decently defensive position. Oh yes, thank you, my dear wife, who is my rival on top of it. Thank you for this gracious gift, and he shall be named Faithful, since we are in a crusade, and faith is all we have right now. Okay. This army fights here. 
I need to slow this down a little bit. Just in case. Stand our troops right beside each other. Check for our anti. Oh, look. I think France might be taking care of this. Yeah, they are. We can move this army down toward Roma. As we had initially planned. Let's put out more useful leaders. Could go pick them up. I think that's quicker. Let's go pick them up. Where the hell are you even going? Oh look, this large crusader army is just crushing them. I don't think our contribution is the biggest yet. Like 13%. Not a lot. Oh! They almost won. Certainly gave the enemy a good run for, the ma for their money. We could send the bulk of our forces to attack. And fight for glory. Increase our war contribution. And we might actually go do that. So let's have them go fight them here. You get the best commanders for this. What revolt? Yeah. Maybe France will take care of this again. If not, we'll have to turn one army back. After they're done sieging. Good dog. Ah, for once a god, a dog that has a good character. Lovely. Glorious battle for our warriors. I shall prevail. Go fight more. We have gotten a taste for blood now. Sure, let's have a non aggression pact with this guy. Is France doing something? Not really. They might be going for them. Like, well, Italy is sieging Venice or sitting in Venice. Let's get these guys down here. Now we don't want to walk this way. Walk this way. Well, they seem to be on an attack course. Aha! He who loves 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 longest. Finally, that narrow-minded jester Earl Minchun has left this fine earth. While everything will definitely better. Well, 
Well, bon let's let's bond over the death with this mayor and have a new friend out of our old rivalry. And thus we have fulfilled our ambition to have a friend. Grand. Grand indeed. So what's our contribution? 21%. Might not be the highest. We'll have to just see. Oh yeah, they're fighting, but they didn't send enough men. So once this is done, we'll send these home to take care of the rebels. Hispania is fighting someone? Who are you fighting? Oh, Saxony. Holy War for Genoa. Alright. Okay, we have a huge army here. They're very likely going to start attacking. Just batter down these walls. Let's do it. And watch how this is done in a second. Okay, if you have this kind of superiority, it's perfectly fine to attack. Like that. Apparently it doesn't hurt all that much. So let's keep doing it. And now go fight this rabble. I don't think these actually count towards the war score. So once this is done, we shall move over here. Oh, something happened that gave the defenders more morale. Let's land our troops. Looks like France is attacking. What are they doing? They're just throwing minor con inconveniences at the enemy. That's what they're doing. We can start bringing our troops home. This crusade is done and won. can just beat down the doors. Crazy. Alright, this crusade is done. Let's have all our troops back on the ship. And the rebels are finally being dealt with as well. Very good. So we can stand on these troops as soon as possible. And there we go! Victorious Crusaders, God has granted Emperor Caebre the Al of Alba victory in the Crusade for Italy. Silvestro di Ancona has been beaten at every turn through the war, and he has finally had to give up on his holdings in Italy. Emperor Caebre has granted the new lands of Italy to Finneacht, Eognacht, Caesil, Caesil. The Pope has made an announcement about the victory and virtues of the Crusader as the true faithful protectors of the faith. With the Christians being pushed out of their old lands, there are certainly more conflicts to come, which is fun because we are Christians pushing out Christians. Praise God indeed. And we are now known as the Sword of Jesus. Those are some poetic titles there. The Crusader Queen. After the long-fought battle for Italy, it has finally been restored to the faith. Finneacht Eognacht Scheisil has stepped up to the throne as the beneficiary of Alba, becoming the queen of the Crusader state. 
Surely it will be hard to continue fighting at the fringe of Christendom, but everyone can agree that Finneacht is the right person for the task. The Pope requests that the rest of Christian world support this new kingdom as best they can, and... Yeah, now we could switch to her, but we wish her luck instead. Shall disband our armies. And let's see. Would you like to be a vassal, no? Would you like to have an alliance? Yes. And so it shall be. Very good. Very good indeed. Let's have a non-aggression pact on top of it. Not that we really need it. This is lovely. Didn't add to our threat either. Did we get anything out of this? Like... Treasury or something? Oh, this looks all kind of the same as before. Oh well. Fine by us. And so she accepts. Lovely. Oh wow, cool. Her her icon just changed her face. Wow. Come on, that looks amazing. See the braided hair on the side here. That is badass. That is indeed. Ooh, Queen Finneach, the protector of Italy. Wow, that is such an impressive figure. Oh, she's the Crusader Queen. Damage against religious enemies plus 30%. Wow. National levy size plus 20%. God. I am in awe of this woman. <laughs> Only war for Latium. Overthrow the ruler. How strong is this overthrow the ruler movement? Weak. And how strong is this Fraticelli papacy thing? Oh, that's good. Okay, let's let's offer to join both wars, honestly. And turn our troop right, right back. Because we're going back to war, boys. Ah, that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And so, so cool. Ah, great. I like this. This is a, this is a lovely, lovely piece of story. It just really is. Man. What an amazing woman. My daughter. I feel pride. Such pride. And that is the mark of a good game. Making me invested in characters that have no voice, that have no foretold storyline. This is just... Ah! Events unraveling. Perfect. Not a perfect game. <laughs>